What's up, YouTube? Your boy, JD. Making a video here real quick on the um, waypoints for INAV. Uh, a couple guys said I had a lot of good success using that with the um, the Strix Nano Goblin. Um, works very good, quite shocking that a uh, Naze 32 type board can be so successful. But anyway, I've been uh, asked to do a video on how to get the waypoints set up. Um, first thing you need to note is that the Chrome app version of iNav does not have a mission control tab. So you will have to, <clears throat> excuse me, you will have to uh, download the actual desktop version of iNav. And if you, if you guys don't know, all you got to do is type in Google iNav configure, configurator download and just go down here to where it says um, the releases for iNav configurator and just click that. And it'll bring up to you, you know, the, the latest version of iNav, which is 1.912. And just select which um, type of computer you got, click on it, and save that file. Then you have to turn around and extract all the stuff out of it. And um, once you do that, in my case, it's when I put up here on my desktop. Double click on it, click on it again. And the blue one is the actual application that you need to get you going. Okay, once your uh, plane has gained satellites, you can uh, go over to the Mission Control tab. And what it does, as soon as you click on the link here for uh, Mission Controls, it'll pop up your actual location where you are. Um, and from there, you can just start clicking your waypoints in. Um, you basically want to left click on the mouse, and every time you press it, it's going to pull a little blimp up on the screen and that is basically that is your first waypoint so let's just say we want to go from little Tokyo out here to the heights you just click again and boom there's your next waypoint so basically all you do is just click wherever you want um, if you decide hey look you know I didn't want to go to that particular location you can actually can um, hold the left button down on the mouse and you can drag it or move it wherever you want to it's pretty much that simple. Um, or change the orientation, you know, however. But we're just going to get off of it right here for that one. And let's make another waypoint down here in Jefferson. One click, boom. Pretty self explanatory how to set up the, the different waypoints, you know, as far as the different places you want to go. And we do another one right there. So, what you will have to do is go over here and. Um, <laughs> you click on the waypoint and when you do that if you notice right here down here at the bottom let me make this a little bit bigger here so we can see it it brings up a um, a field box and within this field box here you have your actual latitude and longitude of that first waypoint but take note that the altitude is actually set to centimeters and your speed is set to centimeters per second so basically what you end up having to do you will have to set the um, the height based upon centimeters so you had to convert the centimeters to feet um, that's what we do in the United States we're feet and miles per hour so for a thousand feet for example in centimeters would be thirty thousand four hundred and eighty that will equal out to be a thousand feet. On the speed side of it, um, let's say we want to go 30 miles per hour. So centimeters per second will come out to be 1341.12 and that should give me 30 miles per hour I believe so if I'm correct. Uh, but what you want to do from there, you just want to go to the very bottom of that and click save. And what that's basically doing is you just save your first waypoint and you can go up here and click on the tab again whoops I made another waypoint here let's take that one away you just click on that one here let's see well, we'll leave that one click on that first waypoint again and you see it brings that field right back down to the correct information and so basically what you gotta do is go to each waypoint on here like we go here to the second one and so you see me click on the second one the field changes it drops to uh, 
altitude back down to 1500 centimeters which you <laughs> most definitely do not want to fly that low so what we do again we just keep entering the same information in for the desired height um, in this case we're gonna go a thousand again and it defaulted that time the speed in there from the first waypoint so we'll click save on it and that's got the second waypoint information saved and um, say for example on the third waypoint we click on it again and instead of going a thousand feet this time let's say we want to fly higher up you have that option on this version of uh, iNav is on 1.9.1 and on 1.9.2 you can enter in different hikes so basically what the plane is going to do on this one instead of going that um, 30,480 centimeters. Let's just put in 40,000 centimeters. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to come out to be <laughs> in actual height, but it's going to be higher than a thousand feet. It may be 1,500 feet or so, or 1,300 feet. But this is just, you know, just showing you guys what it is. I don't have, to, I had to pretty much convert all of this stuff back and forth over. So we'll put that in there. We'll keep the same speed and the speed would be the same which is 1341.12 which should be uh, 30 miles per hour and we'll click save on that one so basically what's going to happen is and we'll go ahead and finish doing the rest of these up here and we'll say just another 40,000 feet on that one four zero and we'll do the same speed one we just did and the last one let's just drop it down to let's say 20,000 centimeters and the speed is already sometimes the speed carries over sometimes it doesn't you just have to really watch that and click save so basically all the waypoints have set information and what's good to do before you take off flying I, I would strongly suggest you guys do this is just go over each waypoint and make sure that the information is actually saved in there before you try to save this to the flight controller and just click on them all and verify yeah let's see they're all saved in there so basically what the plane is going to do is going to take off from here and it is wherever you are in relative to the launch of it you know you toss it up you get it going and you flip the switch as soon as you flip the switch the plane is going to start going at that desired speed and climbing up to wherever altitude you have set and it will hit that altitude and once it gets to the altitude it'll start flying out to the next waypoint but in this case the next waypoint on this one, of course, I think it's set to the same height and the same speed. So it'll keep the same height and the same speed. Once it gets to this waypoint, it's going to turn. And with this particular waypoint, we set this one at 40,000 centimeters up. So what's going to happen is as soon as it hits the second waypoint and starts turning, it's going to start climbing, getting up to that 40,000 feet. And once it gets to this one, of course, it's still, I believe we left this one at, let's see here. Yeah, it's 40,000. The next waypoint is at 40,000. And this last one where it's going to drop down to 20,000. So basically, once it hits this waypoint here, it's going to start losing altitude because we put 20,000 in on the last waypoint. So that's basically just a, a summary of how it works is whatever you put into each waypoint is what it's going to do to get there so if you want to go from here and climb up to um, a thousand feet above you know you got this one at 30,000 for example this one at 40,000 it's basically as soon as it gets to this waypoint it's going to automatically start climbing into that desired height and speed until it gets to this waypoint and so on and so forth for the rest of them um, but once you get all this set up of course you have an option to choose um, what you want the plane to do Typically, if you don't select anything, as far as if you're on the side, you have return to home after the mission is complete. When the plane gets to the last waypoint, in this case, this one, the plane will automatically go into a loitering 
mode it'll just start circling right there where it is so in some cases you know like I normally do I end up making a waypoint always back to myself but you don't have to do that you can actually click on this tab here return to home at the end of the mission and it gives you an option for it to actually to return to home and land which of course I'm not really trusting the landing <laughs> never done it not saying it don't work it may be the greatest thing but I would rather land the plane myself I'm happy with the plane coming back to home when the mission is done I, I think that's a pretty cool setting but you just click that tab there and here's the key part where I think some people have been kind of messing up on it you want to save the mission okay I ran out of memory here on my phone um, but back to what I was saying again here right now the check is um, is green because I saved it the mission to the flight controller but in order to get this to work you want to hit down here where it says save to EEPROM missions and once you click that you should hear your plane beep as soon as you click it here see it is doing a little church it did two churches then and that's basically meaning that the mission you just set up here this six waypoints that's going to cover over 18,107 meters is actually saved to the flight control itself if you just go up here and just click save mission by itself and unplug the USB cable and do not have a battery plugged into it it's going to forget everything so that's I think that's what a lot of people have been doing they just been hitting save the mission or they've been just trying to save the EEPROM by itself and you, you have to do the steps in order to get it to work and this is basically the same way how it works on 1.91 as well as the newer version that I'm showing you now 1.92 here on our nav and that's pretty much it um, and what you can do you know to verify that it actually saved it you can actually can just um, you know for example click off of this or just hit remove all waypoints let's just do that say remove all waypoints it's gonna ask you are you okay and you click OK all your waypoints are gone you can start from scratch if you wanted to but if you want to bring those waypoints way points back up again you can hit the uh, load EEPROM missions and bam all of them are back up again they're still valid the exact way that you left it so that's the key part of it you know and I'll show you another example here we'll we'll throw it up again real quick for those guys that didn't catch it I just punched a bunch of random stuff without punching it in the field boom 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 and we will hit save to flight controller and we'll go down here to save to EEPROM and you're here to your quad or plane or wherever you're using you will hear it beat twice once you actually click to save to EEPROM mission that means it actually saved it so here we go there you go it's locked in and it's saved you can turn the power off whatever and it's going to save that mission so just keep that in mind if you mess around you're just out flying or whatever not and you mess around and bump waypoints and you're in a different location or something your plane's gonna go to wherever the waypoints are set <laughs> so you most definitely have to keep that in mind and just to prove a point to show you how to bring these back up again you know you can get off of here and go to GPS or something and go back to mission control and if you hit the low EEPROM bam it's got it it's gonna bring you right back up to where you have those waypoints set up at to begin with and uh, that's pretty much it guys um, if you have any more questions on how to make this thing work or you know anybody struggling or something like that just holler at me I will be more than happy to go over all this with you guys but that's pretty much it but just remember double check your altitude double check your speed for each location before you save it. It is very important. I would hate for one of you guys to try this and you forget, you know, waypoint two or something like that. 
and you leave it at 1,500 centimeters and your plane, you know, goes flying into a mountain or something like that, that that'll be real, real bad. <laughs> and unfortunately, something else to add to this video is that iNav currently does not have a way to show you on the OSD what waypoint the plane is actually flying to. So once you get this set up, the plane is going to complete its mission, it's going to hit each waypoint, you know, hopefully you remembered where you picked it to go to, and it's going to, it's going to go directly to those waypoints. I mean, there's no worry about that, but it's not going to show you like waypoint one, two, three, four, five, you know, it's not going to show you those. It's just going to complete the mission. It's going to come back and loader, or if you got returned to home here, check, it is going to uh, return to home and it's going to loader above your head until you take back over the sticks and that meaning just switch the waypoint back off and um, I just go up here to um, modes and I'll show you here which switch it is and this is it you got iNav waypoints on the switch program it flip the switch get it going air first launch it flip the switch and it's going to take off and do this mission but anyway that's it. If you guys have any more questions, hit me up. Be more than happy to get you guys fixed up. Fixed up, and um, happy flying. We'll see y'all soon. Much love.